On Tuesday, Taiwan's female reservists began their five-day training exercise by simulating an attack from enemy forces. The group, consisting of five surgeons and nine soldiers, reported to Taoyuan's Bada military site a day prior, and are required to complete the same training as their male counterparts. Without delay, the reservists set out on a five-kilometer trek at 8 a.m. on Tuesday, fully equipped with their gear. I have seen many new families nowadays. It is important for a country to have families. Therefore, I am here today to protect our country and its families. As I have grown older, I have lost some of my physical strength. Although the reservist training is much more condensed, the curriculum is still not as intense as it was when I was in the military. To ensure the safety and privacy of female reservist members, there's a security checkpoint placed just before as you enter the female dormitory. And there are CCTV placed around the area to ensure 24-hour surveillance. While the training curriculum remains the same for all reservists, there are significant differences in the accommodations provided to female reservists. For example, the dormitories have boarded up windows for privacy, security checkpoints, and 24-7 surveillance to ensure safety. This is the first time Taiwan has called for female reservist training following the military's recruitment of female soldiers for voluntary service in 2006. On the second day of training, reservists practice occupying key terrain points and responding to enemy aircraft fire. Throughout the course, soldiers are expected to familiarize themselves with the battlefield environment, understand their mission, and enhance their combat capabilities. According to the Ministry of National Defense spokesperson Sun Li Fang, the training is essential in demonstrating Taiwan's defense capabilities and determination to protect the land. Ting Ting Liu, Li Minghui, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.